So the video clip I'm gonna show you here was from one of the segments at Turning Point USA's America Fest, where Tucker is gonna be asked point blank, who do you think would be a good vice presidential candidate to run with Donald Trump? Now, if you haven't seen this already, I wonder if it's the same person, or maybe you're thinking of a couple people, if Tucker's gonna bring up the same person that you're thinking about. I'll let the clip play and I'll share my thoughts after. I mean, I, but the case, I, I kind of like Vivek. I think he's one of those people who, everyone beats up on Vivek for being, he's a phony and all this stuff. I don't know. I, I've covered a lot of campaigns going back to 1992, and I've noticed this thing in many candidates, and I notice it in him. The process, the process of running for president and speaking three times a day and having people throw hostile questions in your face causes you to change. They all change during these campaigns, like for real, inside. And I feel like Vivek's positions have gotten much more sincere yeah. since the beginning of this. Like he, I watch him with Nikki Haley and I'm like, this is a guy who's very offended by her views, like for real. He's not attacking her because she's a woman, he's attacking her because he actually thinks her views are terrible for the country he lives in. And I love that. So Tucker says Vivek Ramaswamy, or Vivek, however you want to say it, and he says that he's watching him change over time. And I want to echo this point, and actually I want to be a little bit more precise about it than Tucker is here on this clip. Vivek Ramaswamy is changing rapidly. I would even say within the last week or two, he is becoming more clear on his points, and he's becoming more emboldened. This is a guy, when, when there's any more debates coming up, he is not going to hold back anymore. He doesn't care. Because because he knows that the other side is evil and it's garbage and he's going to stand up for what he believes. This is going to upset a lot of people. A lot of people aren't going to like that. They don't want to see that sort of aggressiveness from a candidate. They want to see somebody who's more calm and polished in their response. But I'm telling you right now, the times we're living in, I don't think that's what we need. We need people who are going to stand up for values, for truths, and for morals and who are going to be real. Now, I'm not entirely sure if Vivek Ramaswamy is real yet. I do have certain concerns because of things in the past. I'm not entirely sure who he is, but I do think that he is figuring out who he is as this is happening. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to be sold on him as the vice presidential candidate, but he should definitely be in there somewhere, maybe in the top five category. Now, Vivek should know at this point that he is not going to get the presidential position. That is not going to happen. Donald Trump is going to be the candidate. So I do think that I don't think Vivek necessarily believes he's going to be the president. now. And that actually would probably be a good question. If you want to know if Vivek is really real about the things he's saying, straight up ask him, do you think that you can legitimately win the presidency over Donald Trump? If Vivek says, yes, I believe I can, then my meter, the, you know, the BS meter is going to go off a little bit. And I'm going to say, hey, you're not being entirely honest here. Because if you were being honest, you would say, in fact, no, actually, at this point, I really don't think so. The polls are coming in, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. I'm going to do my best. If he said that, earns a lot of respect. Uh, if Tim Cast, if you're listening out there or somebody who's going to interview Vivek, give him this question. If you really want to smoke him out and see if he is as honest as he's claiming to be, ask him that and you will know based off of that answer. So if anyone knows any of those guys out there and you want to pass this question along to them, go ahead and do it because I really think it's the most precise question to figure out where he stands. But what do you think? Who's the best vice presidential candidate for Donald Trump? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. I'll catch you on the next video.